A measure to stop discrimination against members of the LGBT community in Baton Rouge appears on its way back to the Metro Council. The last go around failed to win over council members, but Fox 44's Harrison Golden tells us that could change this time around. Roughly five years after Metro Council members rejected a so-called fairness ordinance, LGBTQ people seeking housing and employment in Baton Rouge are seeing new hope at the city parish level. The nonprofit Progressive Social Network releasing this flyer, urging that Baton Rouge be, quote, a fair and equitable place. We want something that serves the best interest of the city and sends a message that we are a city that uh, welcomes diversity. Metro Councilwoman Barbara Freiberg says she's willing to back the ordinance, as five of 12 members already have. But she says without a finalized draft, it's still too soon to tell. It's premature to judge something that we we don't have out there yet. The measure proposes a commission of volunteers who would investigate and review discrimination claims. We have to make sure before we bring this ordinance that we have those things clearly defined and they are not going to be punitive when what we want is something really positive rather than punitive. Like last time, the ordinance could face strong opposition, including from the Louisiana Family Forum. Families. President Jane Mills telling us in a statement that such a proposal would undermine freedoms and target small businesses. The business community itself largely supported a fairness ordinance back in 2014. So far this time, the Baton Rouge Area Chamber has yet to take a formal stance, pending a review by its board. Harrison Golden, Fox 44 News.